hey, hey, hey. So, alright. I don't know why my color is looking so orangey in the bathroom. Oh, I'm just gonna look Yeah, it's a little better. Alright, y'all. So, we are going to do a Target hygiene haul. We are going to do a Target hygiene haul and a and a Sephora haul today. So today is Sunday, and this is more of so like a spend the day with me vlog. So yeah, that's what we are doing. As of right now, it is one in the afternoon, and it's Sunday. So I do have like a little bit of makeup. I decided to like kind of get in like a gooder mood. So I did like a light, light beat. I folded my brows a little bit. Line my lips up, a little concealer, a little blush. And we're gonna vlog. So I am wearing a skin dress. Y'all, I have been wanting one of these dresses for the longest. And I went ahead and got one and it's listen kim she she gonna make her something good she she know what she doing so i got it in a size small i know you're thinking like why your big ass got a small but they didn't have any more mediums left and i wasn't getting a large and it was either i do small or I do extra small so yeah only thing i will say is like my panty area is not see-through but i guess because i have like bigger boobs like Looking in the mirror, I can see my nipples. I don't know if the camera is catching my nipples, but I can see my nipples. So we may have to stop to the store and get some pasties. But yeah, what are y'all thinking about the breast? I definitely have seen a drastic change. I think they have actually dropped. I'm not sure if, I don't think they, she will get any like lower than this because i do have like a permanent bra at the bottom so from the front it's like okay but from the side you can like really see the true like you know definition of it and all that good stuff i feel like if i was to lose some more weight you would also see them more like for example when i lift my arms up I don't know if it pushes like my back up or something, but you guys can see the silhouette of it. Or when I put my arms behind my back, you can kind of see more of it. But yeah, I need to, I gotta stop and get some pasties. But yeah, we are no bra in it, cause you can't wear a bra with it anyways. And it goes all the way down. And I just got on like these furry Hermes sandals I got for Christmas and I'm gonna wear my black little veggie bag and yeah so i will get back on the camera once i get in my car and we i need to stop looking at myself and look in the camera because when i go back and i record it i'll be like you know i'm a little cross eyed but like you know, right it is be a little yeah so i gotta do that so today i'm um i had already put on some perfume because i was like i want to smell a little bit different so I have put on some of the Tom Ford body oil over my chest area because as of right now, I have like eczema and I'm having a breakout. So I can't put any lotions. So I was like, I wanted to smell a little bit more different today. So I have put this on, but I don't like it. I've had that for years and it's like damn near full. That's how you know I don't like it. But I want to go ahead and put some of this on on top of it. And this is just the Victoria's Secret Bear Rose. I keep this in my purse. So yeah, I um, I'm ready to have a good day. So after I do my little target and oh, it's a little back view of the dress. After I do my target and my Sephora, after I do my little target shopping and my Sephora shopping, I'm going to go take my mommy grocery shopping and also pick some stuff up for my house as well so i will get back on the camera once i get in the car and we actually make some process because i've been up since 10 
it's now like 1 204 and I'm now leaving the house so I'm gonna try to move a little faster all right y'all so we're like right outside of Herma Gardens because I decided I'm gonna go to this Sephora I don't like the Sephora's that are inside of Kohl's they're like just very mid they remind me of the Sephora's inside of JCPenney I want me a big storefront Sephora so we got Herma Gardens I'm gonna show y'all when we get a little bit closer because I gotta go through this little lane to really get to Pembroke Gardens. I'm praying and got my fingers crossed for an up front, right at the front parking spot. I was like, I'm praying, fingers crossed for up front parking spot and looky, looky, looky! So, ooh, I feel like I'm close to this car. Yeah, oh, I need to get gas. All right, after Sephora, I'm gonna get gas. I'm gonna bring my camera inside, but I'm not gonna do too much vlogging because y'all know I hate vlogging in public. Alright, y'all. So I'm getting ready to go inside. Hopefully, everybody minds their business because I really want to vlog in peace. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, y'all. So I'm back in the car. I'm gonna show you what I got. It's sexy red making her grand parent appearance. It ain't my fault that I feel better than your bitch. I'm so fucking sexy. Alright, so this is my little Sephora haul. I feel like I need better lighting. That part! Yeah, this, that's better. So this is my Sephora baggie. So, um, alright, receipt is in the bag. I spent $167 and I also got to pick up my birthday gift because I think I'm like a I'm a VIB but I don't think I'm a VIB rouge because I think I don't know I know I know that I've spent at least $10,000 in Sephora over the past like four five six years but there's been times that i've gone on like sephora sprees and never added it on like or didn't think to add it on but first things first i picked up the big bottle of um brazilian crush Rosa. um i had the black amber i had the smaller size which is like 24 dollars, so it went out really really fast so i grabbed the bigger size which was only it was 34 dollars and then I wanted to try the topical tropic topic cows brightening serum. I also wanted to get the whole lip oil thing they came out with, but it was sold out. So I ended up just getting this one and it's a brightening serum and the clearing serum and it evens out your toe up toes. It evens out your tones and I'm going to try it on my elbows really bad cuz my elbows are like super black. Like my elbows are like like black like like you know how like we all have like, like my elbows are black like my elbows are really black my, my elbows are like the like my comparison with my, like my nipples and my breasts like well not even i think my, my elbows are black okay my skin is brown and my elbows are black that's just it and i think this was 38 dollars so i tried this and y'all let me know in the comments if y'all tried this before because a lot a lot a lot of people talk about this so i was like let me see for myself but definitely need these for the elbows because I don't really have dark spots on my face so I'm gonna put it on my surgery holes and see if it do anything on those too I don't have dark surgery holes but there's like a it's not as like you can see it basically it's not like dark like my elbows and then I had got this Fenty gloss balm cream I, I I'm not gonna lie, I love me a Fenty lip like and I don't know if this has this doesn't have any plumping, but it's like a color cream. And I swear to God, I feel like I bought this a couple months ago. I swear to God, I feel like I bought this a couple months ago and lost it. But I'll try it out for y'all. It just gives you like a light color tint. And the lady's like, I have it on right now with like a dark purple plum. And I was like, let me get it. Mm-hmm. And Fenty lip gloss smells so good. Like, I love a good smelling lip gloss. And it's not plumping like 
I love me a plump and lip gloss, but sometimes I don't want my lips to be tingling. And then I had got me this little, oh, and the lip gloss. I'm like everywhere. The lip gloss, where the lip gloss at? Fenty, Fenty gloss. It was $22. And then I had got this brow pencil. I really like Sephora's brow pencils. I do like my Beauty Supply Store brow pencils, but my beauty store my beauty supply brow pencils are more so like um like crayon ones and sometimes i want that pencil to really have like a sharp fine look without me having to do like too much cleaning and i feel like the little retractable pencils give you that look and this was 12 dollars. i don't even need a look because i always buy this and i had got it hold on what color is it i think i got it in like ebony i always get like the second to darkest color so it doesn't be it be the one right before black Cause I like my eyebrows dark. I hate brown brows. Like it don't make no sense. Then I decided to try out um the one size by Jeffree Star. I think yeah. This is the ultimate setting powder, and I got it in Sweet Honey. I heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm like, let me try it for myself. See what it's really hitting on. But I have heard a lot of good things about it, and I am. Came on, opened already. I'm excited to try it. And then I grabbed, I'm going to do my birthday gift last. And then I grabbed, um, I did want to get some facial products, but I just want to like treat my skin more, but I didn't want to grab anything because like, you know, like if the, if you're, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like, yeah. So I do want to treat my skin more, but I want to like slowly get into it. And I looked through, um, What's that thing called? Something called like elephant or something like they were talking about on TikTok and stuff. I looked through over there, but I didn't really see nothing that like I needed. I really wanted to look for like a good moisturizer, but not even a moisturizer, like a cleansing balm. But I think I'm going to just stick to my, um, don't haunt me. I ain't pulling out yet. I think I'm just going to stick to, um, the thing I tell you guys from Target, I can't remember, or the Urban X cleansing balm thing i think i'm gonna stick to that so i did get the youth extending daily hydrating fluid and this is by paula's choice and it says it's good for normal and oily combination skin which is me and it has um spf in it spf 50 and i did hear that us black girls need to start wearing more spf 50 so make sure you guys are treating your skin with that little sunscreen and it has at at shit and oh antitoxins smoothing soothing plant extracts and it says it's water light fluid minimizes the appearance of pores and helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging I don't really like um yeah and it says AM moisturizer so I'm gonna try it out tomorrow but I don't really be liking anti-aging stuff just because it's just like I'm young I don't need to be wearing anti-aging stuff and I feel like anything that's anti-aging is gonna make you age faster but that's, that's what my mom used to tell me so I don't know and last but not least um we got the youth they not honking me we got the youth to the people this was my birthday gift and it says happy birthday and oh my fucking um Emergency lights are on. Where the button at? The camera turned it on. Yeah. And then I ended up getting... So I got this for free. I don't know. And it's a big gift. It comes with three different products by Youth to the People. So it comes with a kale plus green tea, spinach, vitamin, superfood cleanser. Oh, I did say I wanted a cleanser with a superfood air whip moisture cream and the super berry hydro glow dream mask. This sounds like a whole little routine. I'm gonna try this out. Hmm, see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up. Yeah, it's all good sizes. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out tonight and see. Hmm. It's very thick. So this is the cleanser. And it's like glass. And then um this is the moisturizer. Also glass. Nice cute packaging. First of all, the mask is the mask is a one time use only. But it, it's okay, it's a gift. Let's see it. But yeah. 
so that's all the stuff I got from Sephora and all this stuff came up to 167 almost $200 don't really see how but Sephora Sephora definitely do that for you so now I'm just gonna um go to Target because I remember I said I'm going to Target to do my little hygiene thing so I'm just gonna pick up some deodorant I got toothpaste already but I need some deodorant I need to re-up on um, my Urban X stuff I'm gonna skim through Target and see if there's anything that I like and then we will start I don't know if I'm gonna record my grocery shopping I wanted this to be like a little beauty spend a day with me type of vlog so I do not think that I will be going grocery shopping but yeah y'all so far that is it for today I mean that is it for now until we make it to our next store so finally made it to Target I'm looking for a safe place to have a vlog in peace so I'm first I'm gonna look through the athletic wear see if there's anything I like Don't see anything i might try some stuff if i see anything and then i'm going to go to the hygiene side and see if i see anything and get what i actually came for all right you guys so i didn't get a chance to finish out my little target hygiene haul yesterday so i'm gonna go ahead and film it for you guys now please excuse the noise like i'm in the middle of doing laundry all right so i end up spending $121 at Target but yeah so I got this which is um the Therabreath um uh, oral rinse and I never tried this one before this is dazzling mint so I thought I'd try it out and I thought the bottle was cute I've tried the other one which is like mild mint this tastes really really nasty but it keeps your breath fresh it really does this one but it's nasty but let's try out this flavor and see and then i just got um a tropical glow by tree hut firming sugar scrub i've had these before but i've never had this one and i bought it because it smells good every now and then i do like to use a little body scrub just on like fresher nights um i got another one of these this is my um body scrub it's like a dry body brush and it's by um eco tools i've had one of these prior they feel really good at the beginning it is very very hard it does stay hard but the bristles get a little bit softer but this keeps you super fresh and clean so i picked me up another one i wanted to get another bath wash because right now i'm currently using the dr brown or is it dr Bronner? That castor soap one. I'm using the peppermint one. And sometimes, like, my skin has been very, very sensitive. So, I used Method in the past. So, I went ahead and grabbed one. Just because I just like to mix up my scent sometimes. Oh. But this one smells good. This is a hydrating body wash. I feel like my skin has been so dry. And I do have asthma. So, my chest area has been really itchy and irritated. So... I tried this one out and it's coconut milk I don't think I've ever had a coconut milk one before and it says that it's plant-based with cleansers and it's dermatologist tested so I'll try this out and see what this does to my body my body is super dry and then of course I restocked on the cleansing bar that I was telling you guys about for my skin yeah this is um this is tea love it and then I also got the advanced snail all-in-one cream by Corex. I use the um, snow mucinin, that little jelly thing, and that works really good on my skin. So I'm going to try to use this one out and see what this gives. And lastly, I just got another one of the mixed bar perfumes. So I have the bourbon vanilla, and I have like the almond something. But this is pear blossom, and it says hair and body mist. But this one smells, whoa, not the top broke off. Mm. this one smells really fresh and clean and fruity so yeah that is my end for this video this is my little hygiene tutorial i keep saying tutorial this is like my hygiene video for all things i like to use on my skin i will be doing more things and whenever i get new stuff i'll be sure to let you guys know let me know if there's anything y'all think i should try out comment down below and let me know thank you guys for watching